Welcome everybody to another video of Zero K. Where today we're playing on Bluebell, the mission I hate a lot. It's a mission that I failed too much. I am surprised a world so geologically active could be terraformed at all, let alone for it to hold for so long on its own. This is a problem though, as it is still powering the core of a large defense system. There is no moving through here with those geothermal plants still running. My solution to this mission may have been very strange, but it worked and that's all that matters to me. What I did is take the first couple of units you get and send those forwards. Those are going to be used on the, this Minotaur, this Minotaur and this Minotaur as well. Those for those I will use these scuttles. Those are very strong bombs that do about 8000 damage on a direct hit. And what I'm also going to do is build, build, build. Starting out with Lotus. On that side and this side. So many Lotus. I'm going to build the best defense in the world. Sending out these pyros just to like see where those Minotaurs are. I should of course use my owls for that, but I don't. Just to scout out and that way I know where they are and then I can use my scuttles to jump on top of them and destroy them. Scuttle here! Jumps and boom, destroys. Minotaur da gone. Jumps, bit off, really off, about 50% health. Not good. Another scuttle and as well a little bit behind. Takes down, takes down one Minotaur and the other one is going to be taken down by either the Lotus or this Scuttle which is totally wasted. Why did I do that? Okay, I don't know. Anyways, Kamamad has finished off these four Lotus. Of course there was a fifth but that one was destroyed by the gas turret. What's going to be really important is to take down this Trider's hub before the first Dante is out. If that happens, which is about at 2 minutes 40 or so I believe, it's going to be very easy to just hold on. You can just build a lot of defenses, they won't have Dante or the Scorpion. Of course Grizzlies are going to be annoying in the future, but that's not for right now. Commander is building up defenses here as well. Once he's done with that, yeah, Picket. A lot of Picket. Picket here, Picket here, Picket here. Why Picket here as well? Because otherwise they will just move along there and then go there. Okay, one scuttle used on a star stardust. That's because otherwise it would be detected so now I can use my second scuttle or rather my fifth or something to just move in and destroy the Dante striders up before the Dante is out. Correct? Well, 240 is almost there and yeah. Okay, this is going to be really really interesting because of course Dante is out. This scuttle has not destroyed the Strider's Hub yet. And I discovered that now. Yeah, that's not great because of course a large detection radius. I can of course jump on top of the Dante. There we go. And scuttle, boom. Okay, 60% health gone. Another scuttle is up already. Scuttle comes in and boom. Dante is down. Great. I've got next, my next scuttle already. That one can move in here before the 1 minute 37 is done. Because then, of course, Dante is destroyed. The enemy, what do they do? They have a tank foundry over there. They don't have any other factories yet. Yet being the key word, because they will get an amphibious factory in the future. At this point, the only thing I was producing were scuttles from my factory. Because I needed to take down the Striders Hub. If it's down, then they can't produce their biggest units. Their big units are really scary to me. Coming in and boom. Strider himself is down. The Dante. Striders Hub down. And the Constructors as well. Another Scuttle was spotted by a Welder and then just got destroyed. Or rather obliterated by a Stinger. So that's bonus objective 1 gone. Enemy commander is going to be really annoying because he has these little floaty things. And those can of course detect my scuttles. Another minotaur, another scuttle and boom. 
I was getting kind of good at um, jumping my scuttles because I just played this mission so often and failed it so much. Yeah, that was really annoying, but in the end I was getting kind of decent at the jumping. This is a strategy which I think pretty much everyone can attempt because it's not very difficult. Those first three minotaurs can be really annoying, so you have to make sure they are taken down. Another great reason to get this defense up is because their drones are attracted to your lotus, or rather your turrets. And if he only has like one or even zero drones around him, then of course he is very vulnerable to your scuttles. They do 8000 damage on a direct hit, he has 7300 HP. That means you can technically take him down with just one. Something I did use, and yeah, I don't know if you really need them, is firewalkers. They're good at suppressive fire, which I will need. Because of course the scuttles are great, but take a lot of micro. It's a really annoying unit if you're not paying 100% attention to it. And when I said, okay, create firewalkers and a couple of pyros along with the scuttles, I'm also soon going to task them to create constables. Because constables can of course be really important for my defenses. Because I want to keep big, big defenses. Here is the enemy ogre, minotaur. There are not a lot of defenses here. That's scary. Ogre, not very ma much HP, but of course very high damage. Minutes are probably quite balanced. I just lost 4 turrets here. Of course that's not that expensive, but that will need to be replaced. Very annoying, Cyclops. 12,000 HP, meaning that they also need at least 2 scuttles. Commander is being really dumb here. He's moving up, not sure why. And I've got a scuttle over here. Also defense is over here. 3,000 3, HP. That's in range of one scuttle. Do I even need it? No, because I have pyros. He is dead. Destroy enemy commander. Bonus objective completed. This is dangerous. Cyclops coming in. Can I dodge him? Not with this pyro. Okay. Uh, right then. One benefit. It's a single target weapon. And has quite long reload, I believe. High damage, but of course on a 300 HP unit that does, or rather defense, that doesn't really matter all that much. Also he stayed out of range for some reason. I have no idea why. Shoots once and then like stays there or something. Ogre, again, high damage, really annoying. But three firewalkers, also I thought I had a scuttle, which apparently I don't. Ah, yuck. A minotaur over here. I only have like six, seven pickets. That's not a lot. Then one lotus here. Yeah, that's going to be really annoying. You know what? I have units over here. Scuttle, maybe move there. Like this firewalker, please kill him. Will ya? Because of course the cyclops wasn't that scary because he was staying out of range. Alright, uh, Minotaur is still 3000 HP, that's still a lot for a single firewalker. Because they don't do a lot of damage. They are only good at suppressive fire. That's why they're called saturation artillery. Not for damage specifically. Alright, burning Minotaur. Scary, he's getting close to it, the advanced generator. And that is of course my only well almost my only source of income apart from my commander all right that's not great scuttle please just jump no because scuttles don't do anything you want them to do unless you tell them to do it well luckily enough my firewalker was dragging the minotaur away and like my pyro coming in minotaur is dead just like that all right great at the front, not very good. Half of my defense has been taken down over here. This side is still quite safe, but the middle. No, the middle is not safe. Grizzly, yeah, 8400 HP. 
Again, luckily enough, single target damage. But of course, only like three Lotus and four Pickets. That's not a lot. And there is a Minotaur over here taking shots. Grizzly is just wrecked. Being very annoying. This side, Minotaur, Minotaur. Well, luckily enough, they don't push because otherwise I would lose there as well. This side, defenses are decent ish, but not able to stop a Grizzly. Why did they go back? I have no idea. Maybe the fire. Well, in that case, I definitely need more defenses. A lot of Lotus, then a lot of Pickets. Something I have not queued up yet. At least not with the commander, but here. Caretaker, 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 caretaker. Yep, I need those. This side, Minotaur, Minotaur. Luckily enough, they don't push. And that's probably something that I took advantage of a lot. The fact that because of my defenses, they retreated a lot. I'm not going for this win by 12 minutes objective, because I knew that I wasn't able to do that. That for that I spent too much money on my defense. Wait a second. How did they get that grizzly? Tank foundry over here. Nothing. Where the hell did they get... What? Maybe I'm just blind, but I do not see an amphibious... An Amphibot Factory. I do not see it. So I do not know how they got the Grizzly. Another good question. Where is the Grizzly? Yeah, he's over here. He's going to sneak up on me. And he's going to try and get up here. Really annoying. And another Minotaur is breaking through my defenses. I was actually getting kind of scared. Just because, how the hell am I going to win if I'm losing my defenses every 10 seconds? Well, it's actually not uh, going to be that difficult, it's just build more defenses, like Stingers. Stingers do high damage. Also, Caretaker is being constructed, should also help clean up all of these racks, which should give me a lot more metal. Also, I should be creating more energy. Because, of course, I'm minusing 157. By this point, you probably understand my strategy. And possibly even better than I understand my own strategy. Which is just build defense, build defense. And after a while, get up a little bit of an offense. So, I'm going to speed it up because I'm going to take about 40 minutes for this mission. Which is far longer than the 12 minutes. So, and I don't think you want to sit through all of that. I'm starting to try and raid the enemy a little bit with a couple of pyros down here. Not very effective because of course I was burning them but not actually destroying them, which was dumb. Also, enemy has got like multiple tanks on the field, which if they just push forward, I die. Also, Grizzly over here, that's annoying. That's an 8400 HP Grizzly. And I'm only now st starting to create a little bit of a defense on this side. Scuttle! Boom! Yeah, that's right. Grizzly goes down. Really good. And of course, I keep a couple of scuttles here just because I don't have a defense yet. A lot of tanks. Why not push through? I don't know. It seems like the enemy is just very indecisive on what they want to do. They're pulling their tanks down to this side and then they're going to run back. No idea why. Just choose a side push through. There's like one layer of pickets over here. That's nothing. Another five minotaurs and an oak cyclops over here. Come on, it's a cyclops. It can just push through here on its own. And then with another like four or five tanks with it, I can, I can die. That's how easy it is for you, but you don't push. I was also building Faradays, which are of course turrets I normally don't use at all. Even though I probably should, because of course they can neutralize one unit. And if that unit is a Cyclops or a Dante or something, that can of course be very, very strong. And just as said, yeah, one Minotaur just wanted to push through here and yeah. Like five turrets died and he got past me. The only reason I didn't die was because I had a Scuttle there ready to go. 
And, well, it knows that now, and that's why it pulls all of its forces to the north and retreats again. I have no idea. That can't be because I put like two firewalkers there. It's not supposed to be that way. Either this is very dumb AI and I'm from now on going to abuse this a lot. That just building a single line of defense is able to deter them from attacking you this much. Oh, that's just something with this level. Also, I have a couple of pyros over here. Reasoning, well, four or five pyros can take down this generator. There's almost no defense here if you just walk along this side. Alright, so they have a cyclops, an ogre, a minotaur on this side. That can easily kill this defense, right? Come on, just push through. Let your cyclops take the stinger hit and then use your ogre to destroy it. Uh, no. Ogre's down. Oh yeah, I had a scuttle there. How fun. And this force as well. Cyclops, six tanks, something like that. Just moving back and forth, giving me more time to create defenses. Alright, so I'm about to get positive metal. That's also the reason why I built another caretaker there. Of course, you start with two and now I have three. Meaning that, yes, I did indeed build one. Also, hooking up energy pylons for all of my metal extractors, because then they're all connected in one single grid. Pyros on top, yeah, they were killed by this Cyclops and Minotaur combination. Reason why I even had them there was because I wanted to use this scuttle to jump on top of the advanced generator and kill it, just like that. Thing is, uh, there was a caretaker over here and that was in my way. Because otherwise I would of course be detected by it and then get killed by the Lotus. Now sending in a couple of firewalkers because I thought that this would be safe, but no, this is not safe at all. There are like two Cyclops, like 10, 20 Minotaurs, an Ogre. Just push through and kill my generator. Then I'm dead. Then I can't do anything. But no, they don't. Luckily enough. Also, building fusion reactors on the island. Quite a safe place. And I can of course hook that up to the rest of the grid and overdrive a lot. It was getting kind of tense on top because of course two cyclops, that's scary. But yeah, now firewalkers were there to kill him. Well, almost killed the second one but killed the first one. Also, something you may be able to see is that well, there is nothing here, there's nothing through here, nothing here, here, single gas turret, and then the generator. Also, I just thought about my pyros, and now I'm doing what I said I would do. And that is, go ahead and destroy this advanced generator. Four pyros, and... it be dead! So, alright, if you just take one or two scuttles, go through here, kill the gas turret, and then go here, then it's all done. Then you finish the level. Just kill the advanced generator over here, with two scuttles in total, and then you're done. Kill the gas turret, because uh, maybe actually you could move past here, but then you have to be a little bit lucky with their tank foundry and such. This defense, it is not the best, but it's decent enough. This defense, it's not that good, but it's decent enough. This one, that's probably my best defense. I was also trying to expand up here, but wasn't really successful. Alright, so Pyros scuttles through the middle. Why through the middle? Because I thought I could. And that's of course a good enough reason for anything. As I said, it would be about 42 minutes for me to complete this mission. Gas turret is almost dead, but not yet. That means I will need to use something or one scuttle to destroy it. Answer is, uh, one scuttle it is. It missed when trying to take down my jumping scuttle. Otherwise I had a third one here anyways. Alright, well they're coming in, that's annoying, because of course that can very easily discover my scuttle and it does first one is gone but the second one here it is 
Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Scuttly scut. Not even spending my metal or anything. And it jumps on top and victory. I did it. I actually did it. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today. And I'll see you in another video.